Now look at this. Now look at this. Now look at this. Tame Rau, Tame Ri, Tama Rau. What does it say? People of the land of the Nile flood. I'm talking about the Mississippi, Colorado River, Grand Canyon. What are we talking about here? That's the real facts, right? So dodge the hijack when you're thinking about Nile River today. So Tameru, the people of the land of the Nile flood. Example, the Egyptians. A Tameru is an Egyptian of the Nile flood of the Mississippi. Tameru. All right, now look at this. Remove the T, right? And remove the A in the bottom. What are you left with? You're left with Ameru. Amaru. Ameru. Tupac Amaru. Amaru, the plum serpent, remember? Tameru, Amera, Tameri, all right? Pyramid on the Nile in Northeast Africa doesn't have stair steps going up it. It doesn't have temples on top of its summits. They could not go and break through the boat on the temples atop those great pyramids. There are none there. And that was the clue that Egypt was writing about the Americans. And the deeper I got into the records, the clearer it got. They started actually saying, and because Amon loved that land so much, he said it's his beloved land, and that word was Mary, the beloved. Mary, M-E-R-I, Mary. And the land, of course, as before, is Ta. So you have the beloved, the, the beloved land, Ta Mary. And they kept that name and just put the Ta on the end of it. So Ta Mary became a Mary Ta. We simply say a Mary Ka. We kept the name that Egypt gave to the Americans. So that was the big mystery behind that $10 million map that Martin Waltzmuller made and then put the name America on it in 1507. And then those who knew and those who were trying to hide things said, wait a minute, you can't put that name on here. And the next time he reprinted that map, it was off. It was gone. Because that's the name that Egypt had given the land. 